flashing 4x4 select light yeah clink 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 let's fix it go on ebay and buy this beauty 10 pound uh, Mitsubishi L200 I think this one was from right put it in they are going in where are we um, can't even see it is somewhere there so this one comes off well let's clear it first right remove the airbox and the fuse box airbox holds on 110mm nut and the fuse box holds on 210mm nuts. You don't have to take this one out but I like to make more space. And our culprit is nah, 210mm top and bottom. Let's take it out. Earlier I mentioned that you cannot you don't really need to remove the fuse box. But actually, if you don't want to struggle, do remove it because it's a bit tricky. This mine hasn't been a part of since we probably left the factory. I was struggling to get the connectors out, struggling to get these locking hoses off. So, if you do remove the fuse box, there's more space to play about. The aftermarket one comes with this netball, and the genuine one. On that nibble has a Mitsubishi sign, so what you can do is pop it off from your old one, pop it off from your new one. Ah, if I can do this with one hand, no, I can't. Let's put it on. Ah, this vacuum is now on. Well, basically, you've got it you can take this one off and put your genuine one on. So yeah, now let's do an ignition on and see if it has worked. Right, just come back from a quick spin and as you can see no more flashing lights. So it has cured that little thingy dongly. It takes about 15 minutes if that, and you need just 10 mil socket. Now it's just a matter of putting everything back as it was. The last time the vacuum solenoid need back on. Is that vacuum solenoid? Yeah, if that's going on. Uh, fuse box and the box. And that's about it. Two 10 mil bolts hold the fuse box in. One's there. I don't know. Can you see? Yeah, one's there. One is underneath. Oh, where's my socket? Is there. And at the end of the fuse box, there is like a little pin. Oh, can you see? Don't know. It just pops out. Putting back our box is really simple. Chuck the unit in, it sits on this pin, then there is a 10mm bolt and a clamp, 10mm as well, well on mine it's 10mm. Make sure that hose, that pipe, air pipe, goes into your wing, it is connected properly, because mine had a gap and it was leaking air. And no more flashing light, <laughs> Yes! Right, I thought just to mention, mine was flashing since I got it, so it's about, don't know, four months, five months now. There is other stuff what can go wrong while it's flashing, but for me, the easiest option was just to buy this. Look, it's £10 and it's easy replacement as well, so I thought I'll try it with this one. And if it still flashes, I'll dig it deeper, but it has cured it, so I don't have to dig it deeper fixed so yours might not fix if you replace this i don't know don't quote me on that so but it did work for me so yeah good luck